Hey guys, Lizard Lee here for Pokemon Pillow Arcanine Day 5. So, this one is done. Woo! And I only have one color left on this one. Only one color. And it's this one. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> this one. <laughs> so, we're going to finish it. And then, uh, I'm going to do the same outline color I did on the previous one, which was 814. I had to go back to my other video and look it up, but I said it, so yes, I know the color to use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish today. It's going to be awesome! All right, first off, uh, this is like super duper late. Like, I, I finished this pillow like three days ago, and I'm only now able to get around to do the narration. Uh, I've been really busy lately, and... As you might be able to tell, you might not, my allergies are killing me lately, especially today, but I need to get this done, so I apologize for how long this has taken me. Please don't hate me. <laughs> so I'm back to would you rather now. So would you rather live an average life and be forgotten in time or go down in history for something terrible? The history books would remember your name like Hitler. Yeah, no, I'd rather live an average life and be forgotten in time. I don't care about being remembered, and especially not for doing something bad. Like, I don't want to ever do something bad, and I don't want it to be historically bad. Are you kidding me? Would you rather eat a cup of baking soda and then do a shot of vinegar, or eat a pack of Mentos and then chug a Diet Coke? Um... I don't know. The only one of these that I know of is the Mentos and the Diet Coke, and I've been told that uh, the, the explosive reaction it has outside in front of like a classroom doesn't happen on your inside, so... Let's see. I'll just let you all know that the baking soda and the vinegar they didn't spell vinegar correctly, reaction has a big chance to damage your organs, and the Coke will just make you choke. Um... Uh, I think I'll go with the Mentos and the Diet Coke. Just because I don't really want to eat baking soda and vinegar. Like, that sounds absolutely disgusting. Versus Mentos I can deal with, and then Diet Coke, like, whatever, it's soda. I prefer regular soda over Diet Soda, but whatever, whatever. If you had to wake up to one thing every day, would you rather be deeply insulted by a stranger or be slapped across the face? In either case, you would be hurt. Uh, I'd rather be deeply insulted by a stranger. Like, for the most part, I think I have a pretty thick skin. I mean, obviously it says I'm going to be hurt, so, it, you know, I'm going to be hurt. But, I, you know, with time, I would get a thicker skin, you know? Like, the things they'd say, I would learn to deal with them. Versus if the person slapped me, if I get used to being hit, that's not good. Like, I mean, it's not good to be emotionally abused or physically abused, but I, 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 I bruise very easily, and I'd rather not have a purple and blue face all the time, you know? Would you rather have a stylist do your hair and makeup every day, or have a fashionista pick you a new outfit every day? I'll go with the makeup and hair. I don't give a crap about how I dress. Because they're going to put me in clothes that are uncomfortable, and I prefer wearing comfortable clothes. Also, a new outfit every day. I don't have that kind of money. Would you rather watch Batman 1989 or watch The Dark Knight 2008? Uh, Batman 1989. I wasn't a fan of The Dark Knight, and I'm still not. I know more people are, but I just... I didn't... I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan. And I, I didn't like Heath Ledger's Joker. Alright. And that's not because I didn't like Heath Ledger. I mean, I loved him in uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Loved him. I just, I, I didn't, it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. Would you rather be a famous homosexual professional athlete or be a heterosexual average person? Uh, well, I mean, th this implies that I am currently a heterosexual average person. So I would, I'd either be myself or I'd be a famous homosexual professional athlete. I have asthma, so I'd already have that going against me in the professional athlete thing. And then I don't particularly want to be famous, and I don't give a crap about my sexuality. Like, 
I, whatever. <laughs> I don't care who anybody else's sexuality is as, as long as it is a, uh, um, what's the word? Uh, a, a consenting adult. God, I need to blow my nose. This is killing me. Uh, would you rather never have sex again or never learn anything new? Never learning means your brain is frozen in its current state forever. You may still form new memories, etc. Uh, what, like, I mean, I love learning so much. I never have sex again. <laughs> I like, I mean, how are you supposed to learn from your mistakes? Like that, because I mean, you like, yeah, you can form new memories, but you, you like, what if you make one a really bad mistake and then you just continue to make it because you can't learn from it? Goodness gracious. Would you rather be on an episode of Cops or be on an episode of Cheaters? So either I'm running from the law or I'm cheating on somebody. I would rather cheat on somebody, but I would never do either. So, <laughs> I'm not into uh, breaking the law. And I, if I want to be with someone else, I will break up with the person I'm with. I am not a crappy person like that. Would you rather own 10,000 Mr. Potato Heads or own 10,000 Bobble Heads? I'm gonna go with the Bobble Heads because I mean, I could have 10,000 different Bobble Heads versus Mr. Potato Head, like, there aren't that many, there, there, there isn't that much of a variety, especially since it says Mr. and not Potato Heads, so. Is it weird that I'm saying potato? Because I normally say potato, like Potato Heads, but it, it feels, or it sounds more natural to my ears to say Potato Head. I'm so weird. Uh, I have already refused to answer that question. <sighs> Okay, would you rather be the head chef on a luxury cruise liner or be the head chef in the White House? Um, the, the cruise boat may travel anywhere, but the prestige of being in the White House may be further motivation. I'm not a very good cook to begin with, so this wouldn't work for me. But if I were, I'd rather be in the White House just because sometimes I do get seasick. Like when we went to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia... I, like, right as we were slowing down to get off the boat, I threw up. So, I, I do get seasick. And I know on a cruise, it wouldn't, the, 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 uh, the, the waves and all that isn't as bad, but I still wouldn't want to take that chance. I've already answered this one. Like, I am signed in. So, I don't, I don't know if they're re-giving me the same ones or if people keep constantly putting on the same questions. All right, so I finished the second pose and it didn't even take me an hour to get that bit done. Oops. So, yeah, look at that. Got two Arcanine poses. Yeah. Oh, and we officially have the blessing from the first person I did an Arcanine pillow for. Granted, that one also had Growlithe, but you know, whatever. It was, it was still Arcanine. It had Arcanine. So, you know, that's awesome. Um, I finished Charmed. I've been watching that show and I'm done. I'm glad to be done with it. I enjoyed it, but, like, Piper was my favorite. And I don't know if it's because I'm a middle child, so I was like, you know, I like the level-headed one. You know, I like the one who can calm everybody down and see both sides and all that. And as, as the show went on, she just became... A different person who I didn't like as much so yeah anyways no one cares about that right now everybody's here for the Pokemon this, this. I don't remember where I put all my Pokemon figures although I had them in my last video so everybody's already seen Arcanine and Growlithe because I have both of them um, 814 I need to grab that color hi my pearl oh look Magnificent Wizard is over here. <laughs> Not working on him yet. I might work on him tomorrow, but I might also be hanging out with Megan and her friends from California tomorrow. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Okay, so... How you doing, Pearl? There we go. Um... Uh, this one... 
So 814 is the color I'm going to use to stitch the pillow together. I don't know if I should use this webcam because it auto focuses or if I should use the other one because I don't know uh, how often I'm going to be moving it away from the pose I started in. But uh, the first thing I need to do is see how high they are in comparison to one another. Like, I think the second pose is taller. Yeah, the second pose is quite a bit taller, actually. So, hmm. Well, I can record this and then you guys can enjoy it, but I'm going to be speeding it up because this is going to be super duper boring. So I'm going to turn on some music. And I'm not allowed to do that. Well, recording, so. Okay, just an update, actually. That iPod that you see there, I had to, to return because it was constantly not working it, uh, on my laptop. Like, I'd plug it in, but it would say it wasn't, like, the device wasn't found. And I, it was just getting annoying. And it was doing the same thing in my car. And the whole point of me buying it was so that I could listen to music in my car. So I've returned it. And I actually went on my Amazon Prime account and bought a phone. It's a... Uh, a blue R1 HD or is it R1 blue HD but it's blue spelled B-L-U and it's a bold like us and so far I really like it it's working really well <clears throat> um, it is Android and not uh, Apple so it, it, it doesn't connect with my iTunes and so some of my songs don't play properly it's really weird like my Mariana's Trench CD or songs which I have like three four CDs for don't play on there. So I don't know if I'm going to have to, like, download them somewhere else <laughs> and play those. I mean, and I won't even feel bad about it, because, like, I do own the CDs. Like, they're they're right here. I have Mariana's Trench, Fix Me, Masterpiece Theater, and Ever After. And none of those three are playing for some reason. So, oops, no, I can't get them back in. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that, but I have given my money to that band for their songs. So yeah, um, uh, I, I didn't uh, slow the video down quite enough to show it, so I'll let you guys know. Um, the Arcanine, the, the second pose, is quite a deal larger than the first pose that I did. Um, where did I put the papers? Right here we go. So the first one I did, the entire thing, including uh, the border around the Arcanine, was 60 by 60. But if you go with uh, from the furthest left stitch to the furthest right and the top most to the bottom most, it's actually 57 by 59. And then the second one is... 71 by 71. So the second pose is a perfect square, but the first one isn't. But the first pose, if I include those those uh, open spaces that the artist had or the, the, the designer had, is a perfect square. So I went based off that. And I think I went five out on the second pose. So then I had to go a few out on the first one in different spots. So, I mean, it, it, it is perfectly centered, if anybody is curious. Oh, my nose is killing me, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Would you rather eat fruit roll-ups or fruit by the foot? Dude, I thought they were the same thing. Fruit roll-ups and fruit by the foot. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Fruit roll-ups are, are like sheets. They're like four by four inches versus fruit by the foot is like what? <laughs> a quarter of an inch by a foot? <laughs> um, I think I'd rather eat fruit by the foot. Those were always fun. Like, cause, uh, the fruit roll-ups, or at least if, if I'm thinking of the right food, cause, cause I may not be, a lot of times they'd have like drawings on one side and you could like get a, a temporary tattoo on your tongue. And I was never very good at doing that. So it was always just disappointing eating those ones. <laughs> oh, pretty. Um, if you had to marry someone, would you rather marry same gender attractive person or marry opposite gender that's beyond ugly? 
<laughs> this is obviously an old one. Gay marriage is allowed in this scenario. Obviously it is. Um, I wouldn't be as happy in a relationship with someone the same sex as me as I would someone the opposite sex because I personally am only attracted to somebody of the opposite sex. So I would marry someone of the opposite sex that's beyond ugly because if I'm marrying them, they have to be hilarious. They have to make me laugh my butt off. And that is what I want most. I, I'm only, you know, friends with people that can make me smile and laugh because that makes me happy. And if I'm happy, that's what counts. Uh, if you were a pirate, would you rather have a pet monkey or have a talking parrot? A uh, pet monkey, because... I, I swear, I've already done this question. Because, like, the, the parrot could hear me saying things, and then he could, like, tell others what I've said. Like, you know, my enemies. Because, I mean, I'm a pirate, so of course I'm going to have some enemies. It sounded like I just said anemones. <laughs> I live in an anemone! I haven't seen Finding Dory, and, like... I, at first, I wanted to see it, but as time went on, I was like, eh, I don't want to pay the money to see it. I want to see it for free. <laughs> Would you rather be Zeus or be Poseidon? I'd rather be Poseidon because uh, I don't want to be the leader of the gods. And, uh, I mean, I'd have control over the ocean. I'd still get to sleep around, but, like, people wouldn't constantly be trying to, like, murder me. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, we'd be brothers, so whatever. Would you rather eat Nutella or eat bacon? Whatever you don't choose can never be eaten again. I'd rather eat Nutella. As long as I can have it on bread, because, like, I don't eat straight up Nutella from the jar. I eat it on a sandwich. Or in a sandwich. And then, like, for the longest time, I didn't like bacon. But I do enjoy it now. But I could live without it. The only time I ever get it is if uh, I go out to eat with my grandma and I want a breakfast food. And then, you know, I have bacon on the side. Or someone in my family makes it for me. I've never made bacon, and I don't care to ever make bacon, so whatever. Uh, I know I have answered this question. Would you rather live in ancient Greece or live in ancient Rome? I'd rather live in ancient Greece. Uh, would you rather be homeless or be a slave? Uh, being a slave means being an unpaid servant that can't quit or leave. This is not necessarily a slave in the historical sense. So... As a homeless person, I could be starving and dying and freezing or any of those things versus as a slave. I'm being taken care of, but, you know, like, I'm being fed and all these things, and all I have to do is, like, clean and serve food and stuff. I could do that. Because, for anybody that's going to say something, it says not necessarily in the historical sense. So it doesn't mean back to times when we had blacks and slaves and all that. I just, I, I can't see myself being homeless. I, that, oi. Hi, Tess. Yeah. Would you rather be credited with the invention of the wheel or be credited with the invention of the internet? Uh, wow. I'm going to go with the internet. <laughs> like, everybody loves the internet. I'm using the internet right now. Hey, Pearl, what's up? I mean, I don't know the name of either of the people who were, who invented these things, so... Would you rather emit robot noises whenever you move, or make camera shutter sounds whenever you blink? Um... Wow! So I'd either be making constant robot noises, or constant camera noises. Uh... You know what? A lot of people try to look their best when they hear cameras going off, or they try to, like, run and hide. So I would either see everybody looking really good, or running away, or I would constantly sound like a robot. I, I'd rather have the blinking and some, the, the camera shutter sounds. <laughs> uh, if you were an evil mastermind, hey, Pearl, you coming to join me? You say hi to the camera? Uh, yeah, who's in my lap? You are... Okay, so if you, actually it says, if you were and evil mastermind, would you rather? If you were an evil mastermind, would you rather have your layer be underwater or have your layer be in the side of a cliff? Uh, actually, I think I'd rather have it be underwater because uh, it would be so much harder for like the heroes to get to me. 
Like, yeah, the side of a cliff isn't easy, easy to get to exactly. I mean, you'd have to climb and stuff, but a lot of heroes could do that. Being able to get underwater, like, they'd have to, like, buy a submarine and get down there. And then, you know, by then, I could have already gotten the heck away. <laughs> Would you rather get severe frostbite or be severely burned? You would live life normally aside from the general discomfort of the condition. Uh, as, as far as I understand, frostbite usually means you're, you're going to lose a limb. Like, if, if you go out where it's really snowy and you get frostbite on your toes, a lot of times they fall off. Like, it, it, it's, it kills the blood vessels and everything and they they literally just fall off versus getting burned yeah i'm going to be scarred the rest of my life but i'll still have said limb so i guess i'm going to go with severely burned cuz i'd rather have burnt toes than no toes i'm just saying like ugh. i mean like if i lose the limb either way i would rather have the frostbite because being very cold, you go numb. You don't feel it. Versus if you're getting burned, your nerves are shredding apart and you feel that. That really hurts. Uh, I've already answered this question. Why does it keep giving me repeats, Tess? Tell it to do a better job. Tell it to remember my answers. Come on, tell it. She's just laying here. <laughs> oh, you purrin. Mwah. Would you rather have ice breath or fire breath? Uh, I think I answered this before ice breath because it it would be so nice. I live in the desert, so it's super hot. So having ice breath would be spectacular. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. With my new phone, I have Pokemon Go. So yeah, I got it now. I'm gonna do some walking. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some exercise. It's gonna be good for me. Um. As far as I understand, you can't add people on there right now, or maybe you can. I don't know. If you guys would like to add me, if it's possible, uh, it's Lizardly13, so Lizardly as it's spelled here, and then 1-3. It's just like my Instagram account, so it's Lizardly13. So yeah, if you ever see me controlling a gym, which you probably won't because I'm only level 5. I only, like, just started, like, yesterday, the day before, so <laughs> I'm totally brand spanking new to this. But, uh, yeah, that'd be super cool. Uh, okay, um. I think this is another one I already answered. Why, why does it keep having me repeat these? It says Elizabeth right here. I am clearly signed in. Uh, I know I've answered this one. Would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? I'd rather be in complete isolation. Like, yeah. It'd be lonely, but you know what? I won't be in jail. Would you rather watch Are You Afraid of the Dark or read Goosebumps? I'd rather watch Are You Afraid of the Dark because I could also cross-stitch while I'm watching it. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of things don't scare me anymore. So neither of them would really frighten me, but the movie, the, the TV show would probably have a better chance of scaring me. Would you rather have 17 testicles or have one testicle the size of a coconut? <laughs> um, seriously, I don't want either, so I'm just going to skip this one. Like... 17 would get you pretty much almost to the size of a coconut, so what's the difference? Would you rather only eat or only drink? Uh, you would gain all your nutritional content through whichever method you choose. I'd rather only drink, because, yeah, then I'd only pee, and that would be lovely. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is what happens when my allergies are killing me, you guys. I tell horrible jokes. <sighs> Oh, this is another one I know I've done. Have a personal chef or a personal masseuse. I'd rather have a chef. I'm tense, but I, I don't think a masseuse would help much. Would you rather fight Cybermen or fight Daleks? I'd rather fight Cybermen. So, for anybody that 
is unawares. <laughs> not that I am the, like, pinnacle of knowledge for Doctor Who, because I'm definitely not. But the Cybermen are constantly upgrading, and they will delete people that are not gonna get upgraded. So they're constantly changing. And uh, if they come across a human, they convert the human to a Cyberman, which is a, a robot kind of thing, basically. And it, it, it's kind of humanoid-shaped. Versus a Dalek is... God, what is he, like, trash can-shaped? <laughs> I mean, like, instead of being... Uh, flat and squared at the top, and it is rounded, but um, they don't change at all. They believe that the Dalek race is perfection, and every other race needs to be exterminated. So, if you come across a Dalek, they gonna kill you. Versus with a Cyberman, you, you could potentially live on as a Cyberman. Or, you know, you could die. <laughs> I just, the, the Cybermen are not as terrifying as the Daleks. I'm just saying. Would you rather be Chinese or be Japanese? You would live in the respective country. I'd rather be Japanese in that case. I have actually been to Japan and I have been to China. And I love both both places. But the Japanese, are, their, their country is not as polluted as China. And I have asthma. So, yeah. <laughs> would you rather have a terrible audition on American Idol or get a ridiculously easy question wrong on who wants to be a millionaire? Um, dude, I would never do either. Like, I, I watch, you know, shows like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and all that, all that, and I laugh at people when they make stupid mistakes, but I understand. Like, there are times when I'm playing a game or, you know, something like that with friends or family or whatever, and it's totally obvious, and I don't get it because I'm under pressure, and that makes you nervous. Versus on American Idol, I'd be singing. I mean, and I'd probably be singing Disney. Dude, I think I'm going to go with American Idol. <laughs> like, at the very least, people would be like, hey, she knows the words to be our guest. <laughs> I'm the world's biggest dork, I know. Would you rather eat a zombie or be eaten by a zombie? Tessa, what are you doing? Where? Oh my gosh, let me go check on my cat. Okay, she's just being a dork narc over there. All is well. Okay, so... I'm under the assumption that if I eat a zombie, it's not going to turn me. It's just going to help me survive. Because <laughs> be eaten by a zombie. If I'm dead, that's that's okay. But if I'm alive, that's going to be painful and bad. So I'd rather eat a zombie. Like, I, I would rather <laughs> be a cannibal than be slowly eaten to death. Like, owie, no thank you. I don't like the idea of slow, painful deaths. Not for Lizzie, no, no. I have done this one already. Why is it doing this? <sighs> it's killing me. Would you rather pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out? I'd, I'd rather pull my toenails out. Um. I have really long hair, and I don't want to be bald, because I don't think I look good with short hair. So I definitely don't think I'd look good with no hair. And my toenails will grow back way faster than my hair will. Would you rather wake up in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney? Oh, God. Or wake up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really lazy eye? Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. I'd rather wake up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really lazy eye. Because you could die if someone takes out your kidney. And, like, yes, you you are able to live with only one kidney for as long as you're healthy. But um, if they did it wrong or they nicked something, you could die, okay? You are missing an internal organ. Oh, my God. Would you rather get run over, run over by a car and die, or have five small children with your car? What am I saying? Get run over by a car and die, or kill five small children with your car. I'd rather get run over by a car and die, because I'm 24 years old, I'm an adult, versus false my five small children are not. 
And I, I, I couldn't live with the guilt of killing five kids. I couldn't live with the guilt of killing one kid. Like, oh my god. Would you rather be an Olympic te tennis player or be an Olympic table tennis player? Uh, I actually prefer table tennis, which I, I call ping pong, over tennis. Uh, but out of all the ones like that, where you have a ball and a racket, badminton is my favorite. I freaking love badminton. You guys, if you ever meet me and there's a chance we can play badminton, like, hit me up. Like, I, oh my god. I love Batman so much. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. Would you rather take a picture or have your picture taken? Um, I mean, on any average day, like, I think I'd, I'd rather take a picture. I like, I, I take a lot of pictures of Tessa, so. <laughs> Come on, next question. Would you rather glue your eyes shut with super glue or spill hot glue over your naked lap? Uh, I'd rather spill hot glue over my naked lap. Oh my god, I could not super glue my eyes shut. What the heck is wrong with these people? It's done! What? Yeah, yeah. So there is the second pose. And the first one! Yay! Oh, that took a while. So if you go... Was a bit round. Was the stitching. Oh! Look at that pillow. And then we have the loop. All right, so in total, that took me uh, three and a half hours. So did I say the, f the first part of stitching took me an hour? So that means two and a half hours to stitch them together. Or, well, to measure them, fold them, and then stitch them together. That's how long it took. So. <laughs> so cool. Oh my gosh, like, I got, like, you know, I got one, two, three done, and then I was like, wait a minute, are they facing the same way? <gasps> and that's when you see me flipping it, and I was like, oh, okay, I did. Phew! <laughs> I about gave myself a heart attack. For something I, I did check, but for some reason I'd forgotten if I had or not. I don't know. But, there it is. It's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the end of Pokemon Pillows Arcanine J5. So, um, I don't work tomorrow, so I might go back to Magnificent Wizard, but I also might be hanging out with uh, Megan, so we'll see. Um, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast, and it's already 1 p.m. So like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the Arcanine Pillow. Well, look at that. I have an end credits thingy-majiggy for you to click on. But I don't have music, so this is kind of lame. Sorry.